Hi everyone, it's V from Motherhood With Me and welcome to today's vlog, a massive baby boy clothes haul. So I thought it would be really fun to do a clothes haul because I've been shopping for lots of special occasions um, for summer holidays, for Luca's christening, for his first birthday, Easter and there's just so many cute outfits I thought it would be really fun to share. Now a lot of these outfits are from um, like really well known places, Next, M&S, Matalan, um, but there's also quite a few things that I've got from places you might not think to look um, and I really wanted to share those because I think there's some really great finds out there if you know where to look. Okay so the very first item I'm going to show you is the most special um, and I'm really excited. This is Luca's christening outfit. He is getting christened this coming weekend um, and really it's just something that um, within our family has always been done so um, we're not like hugely religious I have to say but Johnny has been christened, I've been christened and um, sort of our wider families do go to church and things and we just decided that we did want to get Luca christened so um, I absolutely searched far and wide for a christening outfit it was really really difficult to find like a special baby boys outfit and um, a lot of the gowns are like dresses and they really look more suited to girls um, or they're like more for newborn because typically um, you used to get babies christened when they were really really teeny like six to eight weeks old. Luke has nine months now so he'd look a bit strange in like one of those gowns that newborns look so cute in so I wanted to find something age appropriate but still really special and I finally found it online on a website called Children's Salon they do lovely lovely clothes so it's really worth looking on there for any kind of occasion outfit and this is what we have ended up with so it's this gorgeous silk gown and basically I'll show you it is a romper so a little romper <laughs> satin like gorgeous it comes with a little hat which Luca absolutely will not keep on like there's just no hope of that um, but then it also comes with this overcoat yeah it's kind of like a waistcoat but it's really long and over the like little romper it kind of does look like a gown it, it gives it that effect so this is from children's salon as i said it is luca's christening gown and it was around 70 pounds um which i think is like obviously expensive but reasonable for this kind of quality for an occasion outfit um i'd never spend that obviously on everyday clothes or really any other occasion for him but this is probably the most special thing he is going to wear that is number one so the next thing I'm going to show you um, goes in line with the last outfit it is a, a second outfit for Lucas christening because obviously we're going to have the ceremony we're then going to have a little do afterwards and then we're going to continue the celebrations probably at some local pubs and um, so I thought Luca can't be in that outfit all day he needs something a little bit more casual but still like, it's not really casual but it's just not like a silk gown um, and next do so many lovely things like this like if you're looking for a little wedding outfit or party outfit um, and I went with this little two piece so it is again a little romper with <laughs> some shorts now they are separate but um, just they've attached them to begin with like obviously I'll just need to cut the cords so um, it's these really cute little little shorts little pinstripes and this gorgeous little cotton romper they are like a cream colour um, with like sort of a, a brown I want to say thread and um, so they still to me look very special very occasionally but it's going to be more comfortable a little bit more practical and um, yeah that's super cute and then to go with that because I thought he like if the celebrations go on throughout the day we might be outside a bit and um, we might get cold so <laughs> I got him his own little jacket. I mean, look at that. Is that not just adorable? So, um, <laughs> so this will go over the romper like this. And I mean, I'm not doing the best job of showing you, but basically that is going to be his little, 
a little second suit and they were both from Next. They were both £18, so £18 for the little one pan shorts and then £18 for the jacket, which I think is pretty reasonable. Um, so that is his like second outfit for his christening. So the next outfit I'm going to show you is for Luca's first birthday party. And we have hired a community centre for a party with soft play, like a buffet, something that's like kiddie friendly. And then we're going to have an after party with family and um, back sort of at home, like a little probably a garden party type thing if the weather's nice enough. It's in June, so it should hopefully be. Um, and I've decided to go with a Peter Rabbit theme for the party. So um, I wanted obviously something linked in with that for Luca's outfit. I was looking on Etsy and you can get like all sorts of lovely like personalised rompers and things but honestly they're really really expensive and then Marks and Spencers just so happened to release a party Peter Rabbit range which couldn't have been more perfect so I do really like the sort of traditional little boys outfits so it is another little sort of rompery dungaree set um, but if you can see it's got Peter Rabbit with balloons so it couldn't be more perfect for a party and i just think he's gonna look so like classic little boy cute in this um and it's just perfect for his party it's still going to be comfortable for him um, and this was only 16 pounds from mns currently they've got a lot of different things they've got girls and boys outfits and unisex outfits um and yeah i just really love that it's going to be so cute for his first birthday next items I'm going to show you are Easter themed. Um, so, I mean, I haven't got anything planned for Easter, but I just saw them and they're really cute and they're ideal for if you do have Easter plans, but I mean, they're not Easter exclusive. <laughs> so the first is a little two pack of leggings from Jewels and these are Peter Rabbit themed. And I just thought these were ridiculously cute. So that's the first pair. And this is the second pair. So obviously Peter Rabbit's on the bum and then nice little cream leggings on the front. Um, these are just stripy on the front and with Peter Rabbit on the bum. Um, I do love these like bum motif leggings. <laughs> There's something really cute about having little animals on baby's bums. Um, and they were from Jewels and I can't remember off the top of my head the price, but they weren't like crazy expensive. They were under £20, I'm sure, for the two. And then to go with them, I got this gorgeous cardigan from Matalan. And this is a Peter Rabbit, or I think it's Peter Rabbit, or just Rabbit, um, Cardi. <laughs> it's got the little ears on the hood. It's fleece lined, which is just gorgeous. It feels lovely. It's really like thick cable knit and it's got oh it is peter rabbit it says peter rabbit it's got peter rabbit's face on the front um and again i just thought this was like so cute for the whole of like springtime it's appropriate it'll do for his party as well if he needs to put something over the top of his little dungarees and this is only 14 pounds from matalan i'm gonna stick with matalan for the next couple of items and these are summer holiday items so the first one is a swimsuit for Luca and um, we're hoping to go to Italy for our holidays and we'll definitely be going in a pool. So we haven't been swimming with Luca yet which is something on my to-do list but I just honestly haven't felt like it um, so far like since recovering from giving birth and stuff I haven't felt like going in a pool but I'm starting to imagine I could now so we'll probably go soon and take him for his first swim in which case this will be handy before holiday. Um, but this is really cute. I mean, we're not going to lose him because it is lime green fluorescent. Um, it's got the little little dinosaurs. Um, I just thought this was really, really cute. It's from Matalan. It came with, or it didn't come with, sorry, it, it has a matching hat that I purchased separately. So this is the hat. Obviously, it's got the full coverage to protect from the sun. Um, and yeah really cute set this was the hat was four pounds i think five pounds for the hat and the little suit can't see the tag oh, 10 pounds so 15 pounds you'll get the, the full set which i don't think is too bad for something like this the next item is also from matalan and is also like a holiday outfit and um, it's 
very similar to things I've already shown you so you can see that I have like a style for Luca um, but it's another little <laughs> traditional like shorts uh, sort of dungaree romper set I just thought this was really really cute um, I think it's a perfect summer outfit because it's really really light and there's not much to it at all so it won't be like hot it would be perfect for like maybe the like late afternoons where it's a little bit cooler um, but still very very warm and it also came with a little hat I mean honestly like keeping a hat on look is impossible so I don't know if that's gonna stay on <laughs> but yeah thought that was really cute and it was £12.50 for the outfit and the hat comes with it that's it for all of the occasion wear or like specific purposes but I've got loads of other bits to show you where I've got like bargains or just really nice bits and pieces for a baby boy so I'm gonna get on with that and show you the other pieces that I've picked up recently for Luca. So supermarkets actually do really lovely baby clothing and um, I'm sure you've probably already discovered this my local supermarket is Tesco and whenever I do the weekly shop I always have to have a look at what's in stock and I picked up some bargains in that sale recently that I just wanted to share. So the first thing is this little Jurassic World t-shirt which I thought was really cute like yes it's sparkly but you can pull that off that's fine <laughs> I think that's fine and um, it does say Jurassic World on the back which I mean I'm not really like fussed about I just thought it was really nice I do like dinosaur things for Luca which is very cliched um but this was reduced from £12 to £4.50 so that was a real bargain I think um and it did have matching like pants that you could get but I wasn't really, like bothered about that um so yeah that was the first thing I got in the Tesco sale second thing I got in the Tesco sale was this really cute shirt um, and again I feel like this is very like holiday vibes this will be very wearable in the evenings on holiday and um, it's just like a cute smart little shirt it's got a little star on the pocket and this was reduced from seven pounds to five pounds so not a huge saving but I feel like I don't think I would have paid seven pounds for a top but five is justifiable and the final thing I got from Tesco is this really cute um, cable knit cardigan with a little soldier on, like a bit like dinosaurs. Um, I get a lot of soldiery stuff for Luca. I don't know why, it just seems very like quintessential British baby boy clothing. Like, I don't know what you'd see the royal children in, I guess. Um, I'm probably being super cliched, but I just thought this was super, super cute. I couldn't resist it. Um, I'm sure this was in the sale but I can't see a sale tag on it so full price it was £9 I really don't think that I paid that I think I did get this in the sale and I've somehow like discarded the sale sticker but even if not I think £9 because it's really thick it's really nice quality and um, for something that like he can wear over a lot of different outfits I think it's probably worth it so yeah that was the last thing from Tesco sale now I've got a few other bits from other shops that I've just like picked up some were like really good value or just like had offers on or things or they're just cute and I think it's worth showing you so I'm just going to get on with showing you these other bits and pieces. So the first place is Next and Next Sale and um, I feel like Next is one of those places where every time they have a sale they just put everything out it can be from like literally years ago they don't seem to have like a current season sale it just seems to be like everything and anything and because Next is one of those shops that stocks like all different stores and all different designers as well as their own clothing I managed to pick up a real bargain in their sale and this, that was this little Ted Baker zebra t-shirt and I got this for two pounds in the next sale so I just wanted to point out that next is a really good place to browse the sale like because you literally never know what you're gonna see it could be anything from any time <laughs> and any like designer they just seem to throw everything in there whatever sitting out in the back or wherever they keep their sale stuff just it comes out on repeat until people buy it and obviously they must add stuff each season as well but there's just such a variety of stuff it's well worth looking I'm also going to show you this little hoodie that I got Luca from next it isn't from the sale but it was just really cute 
so I thought I'd share it. It's a little like dragon or maybe dinosaur again, I don't know, hoodie um, and it's just really soft cotton. It's really nice. It was £7 I believe and it's just something that I can throw on over anything if we're going out. It's thin enough for them to wear in the car because obviously you don't want anything bulky when they're in the car seat. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was like really cute. I was looking for this colour because it goes with a lot of his clothes and this was just perfect. So I just wanted to share that. The next items I'm going to show you are from H&M and I did a little H&M um, shop because I needed some basics for Luca to go with lots of things they had. So I needed some vests, some leggings and they do great multi-packs of those. And then I also spotted these which I thought were really cute and would go with loads of his clothes that he had and it was a two pack of little pants and they're sort of like jeans but they're not they're like really soft um and they've got this really cute um detail and they've got this color which is like obviously a sort of washed out black so it's like pretty much gray now and then they've got it in the solid black um and they also have the detail i don't know if you can see um but that was a really cute little two pack these go with so many things that luca has and he looks like a real little dude in them, just because of this like detail. Um, he really does. He looks like a proper little boy, not a baby. Um, yeah, I just thought they were really cute. H and M is a great place to look for sort of staples that you can put with lots of different outfits. If you've got like hoodies and tops and things, and you just want some leggings or some pants or some vests to go with, whatever you've got. The next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you because I got it for free basically, um, and that is these blade and rose leggings you've probably heard of blade and rose they're like quite famous for the little bum design leggings um and they often run promotions so they were running a promotion when i got these and it was basically you just paid postage so the leggings tend to be between 11 and 15 pounds um postage was 3.99 so that's all i paid to get these so i just wanted to let you know it is well worth keeping a lookout or signing up to their mailing list because they do it quite often like since I got these, I've had another two, I think, through. And there were three designs at the time to choose from. There was these, there was a pink owl, and I can't remember the, the last one, but obviously I chose these. Um, but yeah, they do it quite often, so it's definitely worth checking Blade and Rose out. The next item I'm going to show you is a really cute um, item from an independent shop. And it is these little robot dungarees. How cute are they? <laughs> They are from Victoria and Isaac, they have a website, um, but yeah, they're just so cute. They're a bit big because they're 12 to 18 months, they don't fit them yet, but another just like little place that you might not have heard of or looked at, um, so I just thought they were worth a mention because I really do love them and I can't wait to see you look at in these dungarees. Another place I just wanted to mention that I shop at a lot and um, that you might not have thought of is TK Maxx. So TK Maxx, like I used to just think of as a jumbo sale really um, with like no structure and it was just a headache to look in. But then I learned that it is well worth looking because you get really nice stuff and um, just so much more reduced. Um, so I absolutely love looking at it for baby clothes. And here is an example of something that we picked up. So these little Levi jeans are so, so cute. Oh, Levi. Um, yeah, and they're a fraction, like a fraction of the cost. You get something like these for like £10. I can't remember the exact cost of these, but um, yeah, so much cheaper than if you bought them. They'd be like £30 or £40 in like Fenix or Debenhams or wherever stocks. Um, Baby Levi. And then I also got this um, just to go with them from TK Maxx. But TK Maxx is just like a really good shout if you're looking for some like different baby wear because obviously every shop stocks different stuff um, and there's lots of designer stuff if you're into that but there's lots that isn't but it's just unusual or you know like little Spanish outfits and things and um, so TK Maxx is definitely well worth a look if you're looking for something a bit different and some really good deals. The last high street store item I'm going to show you is just because um, basically when Luca was much younger, I think about three months, I bought him and his dad, Johnny, matching tops. So uh, Luca said little man and Johnny said big man. And obviously Luca has outgrown his t-shirt. And then I happened to see this hoodie that 
perfectly, perfectly matched in River Island. So I had to get it. Um, this is Luca's Little Man hoodie. And basically the writing, that is identical to the t-shirt that Johnny has. Um, so I just couldn't resist getting that. Um, and the originals were from My Rocking Kids. So um, yeah, I don't know if River Island's like, I don't know, seen that and made a dupe, I don't know, um, but this was just like really cute. Whether you have the Big Man t-shirt or not, I think this is really cute. Um, overall, I'm not a huge fan of River Island outfits, I think they're a bit over the top um, and they've sort of tried to make them look, I don't know, a bit like Gucci or designer, um, which I, I don't really like um, personally, but something like that's really cute and really casual and it matches his dad so I couldn't resist. The last couple of um, places I'm going to show you items from are more like recommendations for you to go and have a look at yourself. These aren't things that you're going to be able to find because their first place is charity shops. And um, you might not have considered ever looking in charity shops, but I think they are fantastic for kids' clothing because babies grow out of things so fast and people love to buy clothes for babies that it basically means if you go into any charity shop, there is just so much virtually new stuff. It's unreal. Um, it is just so worth looking. And I just wanted to show you a few things to like prove the case. So this is the first thing that I got recently in our local Bernardo's charity shop. It is a little Ted Baker jumper. It is ridiculously cute. It's got little dinosaurs on it. Obviously it's designer. This would have probably been 30 to 40 pounds in the shop new. It honestly looks new. Luke has already worn it a couple of times and this was two pounds. So, I mean, I'd pay that for, well, I'd pay more than that for something from Tesco. Um, so yeah, that's the first example. The second example of something I got at the charity shop is this from Next originally um, and it is the cutest little denim jacket with its little hood and I got this also from Bernardo's and it was £3. So I mean like you literally can't go wrong, there's absolutely no signs of this being worn, you know it's just it's Next so it's good quality that would have probably been over 20, 20 to 30 pounds new because it's a jacket and yeah you just you know 10% of the price you can't compare um, and it's much more sustainable as well getting things second hand and um, the last thing I got from the charity shop is this zip onesie which genuinely <sighs> I think is brand new there is not any sign whatsoever of this being worn Zip onesies are one of the holy grails of like parenting hacks um, when you're doing changes in the middle of the night you do not want poppers, you want zip onesies so and they're, they're more expensive because they're like more luxury or whatever so this was £2 from the charity shop you would never, you would never get a zip onesie for that in the shop so that's my three bargains recently from my local charity shop and I just wanted to show you that there's really good stuff out there I'm nearly done. I just wanted to talk to you about the very last place that I think is a great place for looking for baby clothes and that is Facebook Marketplace. Much like charity shops, people are desperate to get rid of like their bundles of baby clothes that their babies have probably worn once or twice and then they've outgrown them and people want to make a bit of money back. I have got the most amazing finds on there. Um, generally people put together bundles of loads of clothes. The most that I've spent on a bundle I think was £17 and there was over 50 items in it so I mean it's just like ridiculous and such nice quality, nice stuff. So I'm just going to show you a few bits that have come out of my recent purchases just again to prove what you can get. So one of the bundles I bought had about five different little dungaree sets from Next this is one of them which I cannot wait to put Luca in, probably on holiday. I mean again it looks brand new, it looks brand new, there is nothing wrong with it, it's gorgeous, it's from Next, this would have been probably 15 to 20 pounds new and I got this in a bundle for 17 pounds with like <laughs> so many other bits of clothing. In the same bundle I got these dungarees and just to show you i also picked up this from the charity shop which was a pound 
and together they just make the perfect little little beach outfit so again I can't wait to put Luca in that and then finally I just wanted to show you another thing I got from a bundle because again people like to include designer stuff um I probably would sell these separately I don't know but this little rugby um like little rugby romper is Ralph Lauren and I actually got this in a bundle for free like the person didn't even ask for any money they just wanted to give away the clothes to someone who'd use them I went and picked them up and they were advertised online on Facebook and this was in there along with lots of other really lovely items and um, so I just yeah wanted to really like let you know some really good places to look outside of the norm um so that is like a lot of items that I've recently got live card that he'll be wearing over the next few months and I really just wanted to share and um, I love watching like baby boy bundles for inspiration and things like that so I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and um, let me know in the comments like if you'd like to see more content like this or what your favourite pieces are or if you have any questions um, but it's been great sharing this with you and I'll see you in the next video.